Hi, Nikki here. Uh, this weekend we're planning on putting vinyl floors over where the carpet was on our slides. So what led us to do this? We wanted to do this, but I watched a YouTube video and I can't remember whose channel it was, but they have had their RV not very long and they pulled up their carpets and there was mold all underneath their carpets here because the slide house was leaking. Gross. And with our health, we can't have mold. And so I want to be able to check this. And then the other thing is, there's been a couple times we've had a couple waters spill, and that always makes us worry that there may be just wetness under there. So, so this will help protect us. So was there slide leaking, or was it condensation on the walls from heat and cool, heat and cool? Yes. I don't know. Okay. Here is the slide one that we plan on doing first. It is in the bunk house and under our son's bed, which should be easy to use because, or move, because we have the Ikea bed in there instead of the couch. So we just have to pull some stuff from under the couch and get started. It's probably just stapled over here too. I don't want to ruin that there. Do you want me to hold that while you pull it up? We'll have to get them all up though to put down the other floor. All the staples? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's like they have one every inch. There's tons of them, yeah. It's just about up and it took what? Two. About 20 pulls. About 20 pulls. Pretty easy. A lot of staples we need to remove before we can put new flooring down. But it's fairly easy and not a single trace of mold at all. But I think we would have known if there was mold in our house. Um, we've not had any symptoms. Our middle son, who's very aware of mold, has never said anything about mold being in here. So it's a good thing. But look at all the dust that's kicking up all that dirt. The next step is ripping up the staples. And what are you ripping up the staples with? I don't remember what these are called, but I have this tool right here. That tool, the pincher grabber. Maybe we'll do another take where I know what this is called. <laughs> okay, so we are pulling up these staples and it is taking forever. Um, myself, Ian, and our daughter Kylie all helping and when you sit down sometimes you sit on a staple and they're hard to see to begin with and then I have he gave me these pincher gripper things um, and they have a sharp edge so sometimes I cut it and I have to then hammer it and I think I've only gotten maybe 12 staples up and got a whole row of staples there. So this is going to take a while. Okay, I just wanted to show you the floor. Here's the current floor. This is what I picked out at Lowe's and look at that match. I did it nearly perfect. So here is the flooring and I bought a snap together floor. And I didn't know that's what I did. <laughs> I thought I bought maybe a peel and stick. I didn't know what I bought. So it's really easy to snap together, as you can see. And it's a floating floor, so there's nothing to adhere it to the floor. And we're planning on staggering those, right? I don't know. I'm not sure what we're going to do here. So it doesn't stick? No, it, it does not stick, and so the way they work, Kylie, is they're intended to go in a house where you've got um, molding along the edge of it. Help hold it down. So we're going to have to figure that out. We may get some trim and trim out this a little bit. It won't be that hard to do. Okay, to stagger it, what we're doing is measuring the length that we, is needed over there. And then Ian, flip this upside down so the ends match up put tape down where the line was and we'll use a 
T and an X-Acto knife to cut that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that going in good? Yeah, I'm not real happy with how these corners are popping up like that, but do this here. in the slide all the floor is done and I'm looking out towards the room and we're trying to figure out what to do about this area because can you hold that huh? we have this lip that goes down and the wood pieces are wider than that so we're trying to figure out how to do that over here he cut it so that it could go around the corner. And then we have the flashing for the end, but we still have this space here. Flashing, so right here. Yes. All right, we figured out what we're going to do about this edge here, okay? So, so I laid it against the edge and figured out where the ridge is, and I just scribed a line on there. And then I took and I cut it with my knife and weakened it. And then we've just bent it a little bit. And then it's it's gonna line up, and over time, I think this here, is gonna Carly, soften a little bit. Flashlight on that, and then here's the flashing, which will go over that. So that piece is slightly bent. Um, a straight piece would have made this raise up. Yeah, so we'll put but, some heat on that. Maybe it'll yeah. it'll soften up. Okay, here we are. It is mostly done. We just need to put the edging on, and we're putting Weston's bed back in there. So we can sleep tonight, and what time is it? I don't know, it's like 7.30. It's about 7.30. We started at 4.30 and had dinner in there. So for a three hour project, it's not too bad. Good morning, it's Saturday, and today we will be putting on the flashing on the um, bunk floor. And this is what it looks like. Okay, here's the finished product. We're all done. We're gonna give it a chance to settle and see if we have to do any readjusting. And today, this is our next project. We're figuring out this carpet for the slide. It's a little sunny in here. Um, under the benches, we have a ton of storage. We use under the couch for storage. So I need to empty everything out now so we can get ripping carpet out here. 